they say after 50, it's a golden years. I said, I'm falling apart. What's the golden years <laughs> about? Golden <laughs> if it was 40, it was a golden. Now I'm 60, I'm falling apart. No gold left anymore, you know? <laughs> no gold left anymore. I know, it's funny, you know, like the words they use. So I have to ask, you just said to me, how old are you? I'm 66. And Karo, where did it start? I'm the goldsmith, I do the jewelry. I started when I was 12, this. When you started, what was different in those days in jewelry making? Than oh, tell the truth, we didn't have any equipment. Everything done by hand. Like we didn't have the casting machines or, you know, wax making machines or three-dimensional uh, computerized machines, nothing. You know, just they tell you, you must uh, do the wires today. We melt the gold and we have a plate like this and we pull wires all day. Tell the truth, it took me five years when I was a kid doing certain things, not everything. And still now, still I'm learning things also, like never ends. Every day coming something different. Another metal is coming we never heard before or a stone coming we never heard before. I always hear them tell me that when they're done, there's a piece of themselves. Yes, the yes. Is that the case for you? It is, it is. You grew up in this town. I did, yes. <laughs> yes. You've seen a lot of business going past this door yeah. of Wild Rose Jewel because you've always been in the same place. Yeah, in this place, yeah. Yeah. How does it feel to have a dad that's so part of the town? Awesome. It yeah. feels really good. That We used to have a grocery store that he couldn't leave. So he would walk in to get milk and we would see him three hours later because he had to say hi to everybody and talk to everybody and everyone knew him. So it's cool. We never did anything bad, my sister and I, in this town because we knew it would get back to him really quickly. A lot has changed in Okotoks since the early 80s, since you come here. Every city people starts to come here. It's not a small town atmosphere anymore. Like 90% we knew everybody. Now we don't know 10% almost, I know. Your world has changed dramatically. You've already mentioned tools, you've yes. already mentioned machines, yes. making things. Yeah. So where is this going to go? What do you think? Of? Tell the truth, I don't know where it's going to go, but the way it's going, I guarantee you in 10, 15 years, it's not going to left any real tradesmen. Like, nobody getting training anymore. Really, if you think about it, they don't know anything. They are not interested. New generation, in my opinion, how, how they can make a fast, fast buck, you know? <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is, you know? And I tell them, look, I said, in this business, you live a good life, but that's it. You can't become a millionaire. If you look back and you say, all this time in Okotoks, all this time in this trade, was it a good time? It is. It is. For everything. You meet new people, nice people, you know. They are everybody friendly. And they are your royal, cust royal customers. They come every time. Now they send their kids, they send their grandkids. You know, like how it was like that small town's atmosphere. 